So today I want to talk about journalism and why I hate it, specifically. There's, there's quite a few reasons, so I don't know how long this one's going to take. But let's just start with the basics. Point one, the narrative that they try to push in their conversations whenever they discuss something. Because journalism and journalistic integrity says that they shouldn't confuse fact and opinion. They should only push the facts so people can form their opinions from the facts after the matter. But with topics like with what Sony did with Senran, the censorship to, in regards to that, something that I didn't really point out in my last discussion properly, I, I feel like it was a loss of um, focus for me because I was going through a couple of things and I guess that in the later, like the second half of the video, I kind of lost track of. And something that I brought up was the fact that, that something that I stated was the fact that um, the Senran characters age, some of them are under age, but, and the other person in the discussion was saying, well, you know, it's fair censorship because of that. But the thing is with the statement that Sony said, because I feel like Sony doesn't give a shit about that. And they pointed that out, but, um, and you can tell that because in PBS, for instance, with the, um, and with the DLC character in PBS that was released a couple years ago, there was a character called Neptune from Hyperdeath Dimension Neptunia, where she's the protagonist, and she's underage, obviously. So you can't see, you can do, you can't do less more than um, touching breasts because originally that's the thing that was censored in the new newer game, uh, Burst Renewal on PlayStation. Sony censored that the ability to touch breasts, and they stated it's because of the sexual nature of touching someone's breast, not the actual fact of like bringing into question the age of the characters because it's censored across the board for all characters regardless of their age because of the concern of kids seeing the content in the game regardless of the ESRB restricting their access to that and that's supported by the fact that this character you couldn't have their armor torn in combat or it couldn't be made transparent and wet in combat which is a major feature in the game series, as everyone knows, the main point of contention that most people bring into question in regards to sexuality, because most people don't even know how to access the secret menu, which I'd regard as secret, even though it was widely known in the game, but you have to kind of put in a special prompt that's not really a menu in the game to access the intimacy mode in most of the games, such as Burst Renewal. And, and so the fact that they didn't censor breakable clothes or the transparency of the clothes during combat suggests that they don't give a shit about the age of the characters, even though the journalists were making it the main point of their discussion of their topic, putting it even into their title. If I remember correctly, I think it was Kotaku. I'll have it on screen now. But, um, so the reason why I hate that is because when you push a narrative, you miss, you confuse and misinform the viewers because the viewers interpret everything the journalists say because everyone knows about journalistic integrity that I said, fact versus opinion, just then, that everyone understands that what journalists says should always be fact because that's always what they're supposed to be stating for their job, their career path. So when they say something like that, they miss people, the audience misinterprets that to be a fact when it's actually a, an opinion a statement which sure by that time i don't think sony actually officially said anything but the fact but they were jumping to a conclusion themselves which is still opinion you know that that's that's something that they made that assumption themselves you know that's that's not an actual stated fact you can't make coral Correlation isn't causation. I've said that many times, time and time again, but it's something that the world seems to forget so easily. So I'm always having to remind them. And it's a point that I always stick with. And with this, it changes the topic from like, like or hate Senran, like I, I like the topic of that sort of age thing. I think journalists are, are kind of have a point with, but the problem with it is they're not the ones that should be discussing this like or hate Senran. But when you're discussing, like, a YouTuber like myself is fine to discuss those to sort of topics because it's like people don't go to YouTubers for the straight-up facts. They they go there to hear their opinion and thoughts on a topic. 
which means they also expect to get the facts with her, but they actually are there to hear their, their separate opinions, to be persuaded into a thought or, or a, a mindset, you know? So it's entirely different, the groups of people that you go to, which is another reason why I hate journalism, because they're kind of forming this thing where there's Sony's word, which is the facts, versus a journalist where there's opinion. So it's word against word, and that just infuriates me because people shouldn't be so lost for who to believe. They should just be able to go to one source and get their information, which become, which goes to my third point. Journalists are becoming outdated. There's multiple different sources that you can get to for free because journalism has always been something that you're supposed to pay for to get. Like You can get other certain places for free, but you're generally supposed to pay for it. There's YouTube that you can go to, even though that will be mixed in with opinions, so it's understandable that you don't want to go there for all your facts. There's also Twitter that you can go for, uh, subscribing to like actual game developer companies and uh, groups, uh, corporations, and so forth, where the information will be given straight to you or official blog posts from the official sites of certain companies and so forth, that you'll just be able to easily get all this sort of information online straight from the source within minutes generally because this stuff is really quickly circulated, especially with gaming where things are currently. And there you can get facts without opinion so you won't be confused or misled by what is and isn't true unless you go to the wrong place. Like, like YouTube sometimes isn't always accurate, but that's more on the YouTuber. And point four, of course, the controversy, learn to code, code which to me, like to some people, sure, it, it may come off as, an insult as harassment to those that don't actually understand the origin origins of the meme learn to code and why it's been circulated because originally it wasn't made a meme but a rhetoric back to the journalists and how fucking cold they are and cut off the journalists from their audience which is my point here that journalists feel robotic that they feel like they're disconnected from their audience which is another point that i was going to lead into on a discussion on youtube which i've decided to ultimately go back on because i feel like youtube isn't really much of a like a good topic for me to discuss here plus it might delve into youtube drama but being cut off from your audience is a big deal you need that sort of connection there you know and the learn to code thing is a, a thing to me which I, I sympathize. I'm the sort of person that sympathizes with the devil. So when I hear that people are losing jobs, they're going out of jobs, I, I'm actually genuinely concerned for them, even though they're journalists and I've always hated them. I've hated their career path and what they do with their jobs, what they decide to do, what they put out there and so forth, as I've stated in my previous points. But this is this sort of event has made me kind of make me feel like I'm a bad person and look back and think, Oh, poor them. But then when I hear the line, learn to code, I look into it and I've, I'm reminded that I am in fact sympathizing for the devil here. You see, miners originally back in the day, they were losing an industry. The, the industry was going out of um, vague, vogue, sorry. The, the miners industry was falling, collapsing. And so, of course, the news outlets, journalists, so forth, made some statements on that and <clears throat> there was no sympathy for them there was generally the mindset that every journalist has which is it's their own fault their own being inept into finding another job into being able to move on from their career and generally they would even say you know it you should just go join the the fucking robotics you know learn to code so you should join what what career path what job what industry is replacing your current one which is kind of insulting to the journalists as well because they're saying you know just join the internet which is how they kind of interpret it when it's more genuine but what they're actually saying is that's the exact phrase that they constantly shot at the miners saying it's their own ineptitude to to grow and learn with the times that they're they're just simply too stupid dumb peasants to to be able to make a 
a real life, a real career and get a proper job in this day and age where they're like cavemen essentially. So the fact that they journalists have now lost it, people throwing this term back at them is simply people's way of saying, you're not going to garner any sympathy from us. We haven't fucking forgot when it happened to us. So we're not going to forget now that has happened to you. We're, we're simply not willing to spend our time and effort giving a fuck about you when you treated us like shit, when we were going through this, because people are willing to sing praise when they're on the bad side, but when they're on the good side and it's bad things are happening to the other person, that's, that's when you really see the true side of people. And journalists simply are the people that just don't deserve my sympathy. Sure. There's a couple, you know, good good eggs in in the bunch but it's hard to pick those out especially when half of them are, are just terrible and they all have the same fucking robotic ass mindset and it's fucking just revolting and disgusting when they put shift the blame onto the actual people that have their livelihood and their job stole like taken from them not stolen sorry and because that, to me, comes off as fucking victim blaming, which which is the worst of the worst. It's despicable, and and I hate it. I just despise them. So, in a way, I'm kind of glad that 4chan, even though I hate 4chan because there's just a bunch of trolls that go around bullying one person from the other and fueling the outrage culture, which I don't want to be associated with and known for, even though from time to time I am passionate enough to express my distaste and disinterest from what for one thing and the other, which I feel like is more of a, a thing of explaining, you know, why I like this over that, or, you know, how to constructively avoid being this thing to me is why I express it. So <clears throat> that's my final point in why I just, I outright hate journalism as I've made many jokes and I will continue to make jokes in, in their vein, you know, like making joke fun of them much like I do EA. And I'll just want to kind of put out these, some of these sort of videos. So when I make fun of them, people aren't thinking that I'm just being shorthanded and avoiding a conversation seriously about this. I want to put this out there and, you know, let people know my honest opinions on it. So I can just refer back to this video. So to, to recap point one, they push a narrative and point two, they confuse fact versus opinion, which confuses the audience. Fact, uh, point three, journalism is simply becoming outdated and a useless sort of way to get information. And point four, they are robotic and cut off from their viewers. They're, they're just simply disconnected from their viewers, that they're very cold and robotic to me. So the good thing to me about YouTube is even though it has its ups and downs, its flaws with this robotic s um, video essays, which I feel like is kind of going the way of what, like the bad side portion that's kind of replacing journalism in a way, YouTube commentary is kind of 50-50. Some people are good with, and some people are bad. And, you know, that opinions, are, you know, tastes are all fucking subjective. But I, I think that it's generally going to a better area, even though, you know, video essays, I, I still think is bad. It's a lesser of two evils. So as always, I hope you like the video. Please, I, I appreciate you all for watching. Um, if you care for more to actually discuss further things with me in my discords, I'll drop a link in the description. I, I'm generally on there quite often, so you can usually hit me up. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, let your fr any friends or anything know about this channel if they they'd be interested. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite.